<clears throat> What's up, everybody? I am back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, Marriage Boot Camp Reality Star Season 3, Episode 10. So, like I said, this is more than likely probably going to be a quickie because, again, I'm not doing blow by blow by blow. I might do the first season finale. Maybe. Not sure. But um, they are to write on the wooden paddle, paddle everything bad about them, and they're supposed to pound this paddle into a punch bag. The punching bag represents their inner evil. And it's pretty much just a whole beating up of oneself, which we all do. I can't speak for everybody. You have some people where they take other people's criticism, you know, and, I mean, it's the worst thing ever. Me, I'm my own fucking worst critic, you know. So I let anybody know off rip. If you think you're going to sit here and tear me down, you got another thing coming. But trust and believe, I will sit here and I will destroy myself. Just is what it is. So I understood this. And trust when I say I'm watching this, it made a motherfucker feel some kind of way because I'm just sitting here just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm glad I'm not there because they probably would have had a good fucking TV moment. But, um, let's see. So they do that. And on the back of the boy, they're supposed to write down a deal breaker. And, you know, lay there to share what they wrote, but they're not supposed to share anything that they wrote right then with their particular, uh, partner. And the whole thing is, you know, <clears throat> learning to love unconditionally, but knowing the difference between being a doormat and being able to love somebody unconditionally and really trying to figure out what really is and what really isn't a deal breaker per se. So for Aubrey, hers is trust. For Travis, his is respect. And it's always been respect. He doesn't feel respected by her, but she doesn't feel that he trusts her. I think I probably just said something completely for whatever. I don't care. Uh, for Jeff, his is, uh, you know, I guess the lack of communication. For Jordan, hers is uh, dishonesty. Kendra is, uh, you know, I guess being dishonest. Hank is forgiveness. And his is more or less with what the fuck is going on right now. For Kendra, her whole thing is if you just lie about the size thing, it's over. I don't really fucking care. And if y'all been watching the uh, previews to... The Kendra on top bullshit. I'm just like, ugh, talking about a fucking glory, fame, hungry whore. I, I don't like her. I really don't. Again, I didn't know who the fuck she was until this damn particular uh, show. And I'm mad they're even fucking on here because they, oh, they killed my damn, they killed my buzz, man. Speaking of which, fuck. Um, Mike, Mike's was our trust, and Lawrence was his honesty. <clears throat> now, with Reggie and Tammy, theirs was a bit interesting, because Tammy had beat herself up about feeling as if she wasn't a good mother. <clears throat> and <clears throat> Reggie had beat himself up about being a womanizer. And it was even mentioned, do you think that Tammy feeling as if she wasn't a good mother plays into why she possibly does not want to have children. And Reggie was like, yeah, and his uh, deal breaker is still children. Hers is uh, fidelity. And <clears throat> pretty much it, y'all. Pretty much it. Uh, just since I got time, because I'm at like 345 right now, I'm probably going to more than likely fucking give y'all quickies. Um, it just is what the fuck it is. And it's not because I don't want to talk about the shit. In some instances, like with this, if I sit here and give y'all fucking play by play, it's gonna be longer than the actual fucking uh, show. And with a lot of what it's on right now, well, as of late, y'all been watching the shit, and I've been getting them fucking videos out to y'all late. So, but <clears throat> if I feel as if there's talking points, I will talk about them. But other than that, I'm gonna give you what I got. So that's all I have for this. Stay tuned for uh, my review for episode 11.